Hey everybody, Michael Rosso here, today talking about the Cine Kodak Medallion 8. The first thing to notice about this camera is that it is a magazine camera, meaning if you open up the film compartment, you will see there's no place to put roll film in this camera. Today in 2021 and beyond, the standard is 8mm roll film, which is actually 16mm film in width that you shoot both sides of, 8mm frame on each side, and then in the lab or digitally, it is split to give you 50 feet of 8mm film. If you are shopping for a camera, I don't usually advise to go for a magazine camera because new magazines are almost impossible to find. It just so happens that this year the Film Photography Project is offering 8mm magazines but with such a short supply of magazines, I think you're better off spending your hard-earned cash buying a roll film camera, the type of camera that takes 25-foot roll film. The first thing to note about this camera is that it takes no batteries. It's a wind-up camera. So on the one side of your camera, you have the winding mechanism. In the front of your camera is your lens and your shutter. Also on this side of the camera is a... This is the focal length for your eyepiece. So when you're looking through the camera, you're not looking through the lens, you're looking through a parallax view. So you're not actually looking through the lens. So on the side of the camera, you have this little slider bar, which changes the focal length based upon what lens you have on your camera. And the standard lens that usually comes with the camera is a 13 millimeter lens, which this is. It's a D-mount lens, so it comes off, and you can go online to a place like ebay.com, and you could purchase the additional lenses that, that are made for the Kodak Medallion camera. In front of the camera, here's your lens. You do need to set your f-stops. It goes from f1.9 to f16, and you do need to uh, focus. On the other side of the camera is a little handy chart, which you need to completely ignore because this chart was designed to help you choose what f-stop to put onto your lens. But these days, the film speed is so much different that this chart will just get you in trouble. <laughs> it will greatly underexpose or overexpose your film. So the easiest thing and the best thing to do is simply put a light meter app onto your phone, onto your smartphone, and calculate your f-stop based upon what you're shooting. And that ratio is the ISO of the film, let's say it's ISO 40, and the shutter speed of your camera, which at 16 frames per second, which is the norm, it's 1 30th of a second. As you start shooting regularly, you will become an expert in no time at all, and you will be able to figure out your f-stops without even metering. So on this side of the camera with the meter that you need to ignore is where the... This is the film compartment. You will need what's known as magazine film. And uh, in this year and beyond, you can get this magazine film at the Film Photography Project, filmphotographystore.com. I do not recommend purchasing old Kodachrome 8mm magazines online and shooting them. You will, you will get miserable results because the film is very old, the processing, the native processing for Kodachrome is no longer available. It can only be processed as a black and white film, and usually re results are terrible. The magazine contains 25 feet of film, and you shoot both sides of it. So you would take side one, put it into your camera, it just clicks in. Important thing to know with a medallion camera is there's a reset button, which is very important, and this will reset the counter on the back. And this is very important because it will tell you how much film you have left and tell you if your magazine is even operating properly. Also on the back of your camera is the frame rate. And you want to shoot, in my opinion, at the 16 frames per second. This is the normal for, for 8 millimeter. Quick note. Reversal film is a positive film, which you could either project in the projector or get scanned. 
negative film is not for projection and is only for scanning. I know many folks out there, like myself, have a digital workflow and are not projecting, but there are a lot of people who also want to shoot a roll of film and project it in a vintage projector. When you're done shooting side one of your 8mm magazine, you will open the side of your camera and you will, you will take out your cartridge, it says side one, and you will literally flip it to side two. Don't forget to reset your frame counter so that you are starting at 25 again. Insert side two. And now you're ready to shoot your second side of your film. When you're done with side two, you will, you will remove your magazine. Uh, under no circumstances uh, are you to open the magazine. There are a lot of little springs and parts in the magazine, so you don't want them um, getting lost, and you don't want to expose your film. So if you did a purchase, a bundle purchase, from the Film Photography Project, we are offering 8mm and 16mm magazine bundle packages. You will simply take this with your film form, and send your film back to the FPP, where we will take the film, extract the film, develop it, scan it, and send you your results. That's a quick overview of the Kodak Medallion camera. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave it down below or send me an email, michael at filmphotographyproject.com. It's great that magazine film is back. We're excited about it in 2021 and beyond, and I hope to see you soon.